Seekers, I'm Nick. We're always looking for new cases to show you guys that you might not otherwise know existed. We're seeking new gear after all. It's right there in the name. Back in the day, Antec made some of the most popular PC cases of the time. I used to have heaps of their cases. In fact, I think I've still got some of their classy cases in storage to this day. If you're new to PC building though, you might not have heard of them before. So when Antec reached out to us and asked us to do a showcase build in their brand new Antec Prime Dark Avenger DA601 mid tower case, we couldn't say no. So we said yes. Like usual, this is not a permanent system. However, because you guys love the last video so much with benchmarks, we decided that we'd do it again to show you how this machine performs. Now, I'm not gonna make a habit of this either, so don't get too used to it. Stick around till a bit later to see how it performed. Okay, less talky, more buildy. Let's go.
Let's talk parts because I'm pretty sure you guys want to know. The motherboard is the Gigabyte Z370 Ultra Gaming. This board's pretty good, we've never used it before on the channel and it appears to do exactly as advertised. Run. The system. The CPU is the Intel i7 8700K. The 8700K is a six core, 12 threaded gaming beast. I got a soft spot for the 8700K. It's a great performing chip and I personally use one in my gaming PC and I love it. It's a good CPU. To cool the i7 8700K, we use the brand new Antec Mercury M240 RGB. Now we haven't used this cooler before on the channel and we might end up reviewing it a little bit later to see how it performs. Let us know in the comments if you guys think that's something that we should do, and yeah, we'll do it eventually. The GPU that we use is the Gigabyte RTX 2060 Gaming OC. The reason why we chose this card is because we haven't used the GPU in any builds on the channel before, and yeah, it was the right GPU for the system. The RAM chosen was 16 gigs of G-Skilled Triton Z at 3200 megahertz. We've used this RAM in lots and lots of builds in the past, and it's easily the most popular RGB memory kit on the market right now. Lastly, the case. It's the Antec Prime Dark Avenger DA601. This case is a little bit of a return to form for Antec. I'm not gonna lie. Despite what people might think, this build is not sponsored at all. They sent us review samples so we could build something to show you guys, and that's exactly what we did. The case itself is pretty well designed, but there are some oddities with it. I would like to have seen more cable tie downs on the back side of the motherboard tray, just to hide those cables a bit better. The included ARGB and PWM fan hub was giving me really strange issues with the lighting flickering. And when I changed out the SATA power connector, it seemed to have fixed it, which is really, really weird. The physical depth on the back side of the case is really nice too. It's got about three centimeters or just over an inch of clearance for cable management which I think is pretty good and it's kind of rare on a case of at this price point. The airflow seems to be okay and we didn't do extensive testing, but all of the temperatures that I observed, they seem to be okay. The CPU idle temps are around 29 degrees Celsius and when we were doing all the benchmarking, around 55 degrees Celsius, so yeah. It seems pretty normal for most cases with an 8700K. All right, let's talk about fans and lighting and all that stuff because you guys love all of that stuff so much. The fans that we used are the five pack of the new Antec Prism 120 ARGB fans. They're connected directly into the internal ARGB controller and the mode that was set on the controller was to motherboard pass through. So all of the lighting can be directly controlled with Gigabyte's RGB Fusion. The lighting on the CPU cooler is typically connected to its own RGB controller However, I connected the pump directly to a four pin RGB header so I can plug it into the motherboard so I can also control that with RGB Fusion as well. It's a pretty straightforward setup. It works really well and I'm happy with the results. Okay, it's benchmarking time. Just be aware, I didn't test this with every single game on earth. There's not enough hours in the day. Uh, we use our usual seed of benchmarks and you can go back to our other benchmarking videos to see what we use to benchmark. So anyway, let's see how it did. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this build turned out. The gaming performance is really good. 
It's a shame I have to tear down this build before we go to compu. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Anyways, I'm gonna tear this uh, build down really soon. <laughs> if you're interested in any of the parts in this build, there are links in the description down below to basically everything that we use. Also, if you wanna help support the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. There is a link in the description to our Patreon. You can also find all of the music that you hear in all the videos and I make all that, it's all on the Patreon. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you like this video, you want to do one, tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. And it's really good to like play around on some Antec stuff again. I haven't used their cases in probably 10 years. So yeah, it's cool. Welcome back Antec. Well, welcome back into my life. Yeah, okay, I'm out. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't be awkward, Nick.